Hey everybody, DSJ here, and I never thought I'd play this. I'ma try to play Sonic Blast. Keyword is try. This is probably the last Sonic game that was on the, well, Game Gear? Or Genesis. Not Genesis, but Game Gear or Master System. I'm gonna play a Sonic. This one probably has the weirdest look ever. I mean, Sonic is big, first of all. Two, everything is zoomed in. It's kind of hard to see what, you know, when stuff are coming. Oh, yeah. Every zone is named after a color. <laughs> I'm not lying. Luckily, I could do it. I got the checkpoints. And luckily... Or well, unlucky, depending on how you put it. Sonic has a double jump. Usually, I steer clear of the Game Gear games slash Master System games because one, they are pretty difficult. I beat Sonic 2 for the Master System. Well, actually, the Game Gear version, but the only way I beat it was through a level system. So level select cheat. Yeah, of course this is Green Hill Zone, but... Wow. Ugh. I'm not saying this game is terrible. It's... annoying. <laughs> it's not terrible. The main thing that makes this game annoying is the sprite size, first of all. And the screen is zoomed in. But like I said, that's all this game really is, is annoying. It's not bad. <laughs> Far from it. It's very annoying because you can't see, you know, when enemies are like... You know what? Any obstacles, especially the enemies that may come your way. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm surprised the Eggman um, icon did absolutely nothing. But most of it usually harms me. In other Sonic games, I mean. Oh yeah, you could you could still drown in the water. That has not changed in any Sonic game, for that matter. Huh? Did I get rings for that? I just know when you get to the um the zone in lampposts, I just mainly know about the ten rings. But I think I just got like I'm not. Sure, no, I think I got like 20 rings for Super Sonic icon to show up. But I don't, I don't know all the icons, so. Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 on the Game Gear and Master System, because they, they, they basically the same game. What makes the boss levels difficult is, well, usually you have no rings to face them with. But the others after that, you actually get rings. <laughs> Yellow Desert Zone, really. There's 
there is chaos emeralds in this game. The problem is, I don't know how to get them. Triple Trouble and Sonic Chaos actually make Chaos Emeralds a lot easier to get, mainly because, well, special stages exist in those. Sonic 1 and 2, you actually have to go out your way throughout the zone to find them. And there's one in each, well, zone. I ain't gonna say one in each sack, because if that was the case, We'll have all the Chaos Emeralds. But this game, I never could figure out how to get it. And I love how it says the time limit is 10 minutes. I'm like, there's no... Duh. Thank you, Invincibility Frames. I needed you so much. Ow. I just realized I don't lose all my rings in this game. I lose like a fraction of them. Or is it exactly 10? No, it's exactly 10. Okay. I can live with this. Ow. <laughs> all that, that time I went, all I had was 10 then. Ugh. The double jump does save my life. Oh yeah, the item box is all in, is marked by check on um, question blocks apparently, so uh, Whoa, that's a trap. That's bad, that's bad. Ow. Go to the Yellow Desert Act 3. So, <laughs> wow, and grab one ring. The hit detection of actually collecting rings are a little weird. Come on, Eggman. That's. Oh, great. Is Maka got a power pole? He's riding what's supposed to be um, flying Nimbus. I know this is supposed to be like Journey to the West, but here's the issue I'm in a freaking desert. This doesn't make sense. You're not Son Goku. Please die, or Sun Sun for that matter. Okay, that's two zones down. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna try one more. See if I could get any further. Red volcano. Okay, <laughs> that's so un unimaginative. And this is a lie because the only thing I see that's red is the lava. Now that image did look like he came from Sonic too. So, okay. Oh my goodness, the shield actually exists in this game and I can't reach it. Oh my goodness. And by losing the shield I hear the same sound effect as if I'm losing rings. Red Volcano Zone, I would think 
you know, the background should be, I don't know, red. Yellow desert, I got plenty of yellow sand and some yellow background. Green hill, I had green hills. Ow. For a red volcano, I get purple caves. Trust the jumping in this game at all. I don't even trust the double jump that much. Guess my only way is down. I'm kind of shy. I don't see a bottomless pit. Huh, this is a callback to Sonic and Knuckles. Matter of fact, not just that one. What is the volcano zone and all? Sonic 3D Blast? Whoa. Ow. Really? I know Sonic don't really stop on the dime, but seriously. I'm trying not to get killed here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm doing a bad job. Is it gonna come back down? Okay, oh. Okay. It kinda just phased it way back. Wait, what? At one point, I always wanted the, um, the Game Gear games to get, you know, the Genesis, um, treatment to a degree. What I'm saying is, uh, you know how Super Mario All-Stars did, did the four Mario games that was on the NES? And upgrade that graphics? See, I was hoping they would do this with the 8-bit Sonic games. I know that's a one-up, but you know, now thinking back, I'm like, never mind. Cause if they gonna pull the same stunt on Sonic One and Two that you don't get any rings on the boss levels, and then on top of that, the Chaos Emeralds are probably the most annoying thing to get on those two games, and no special stages with those two games. I'm like, never mind. Not worth it. I guess Knuckles got a different path than Sonic on here, also. Kinda makes sense. This should have been called Purple Cavern Zone, Purple Cave Zone. I ain't gonna say Purple Underground Zone, cause that does sound kinda stupid. Just for more rings. A shield would have been nice. But, but the fact I don't lose all my rings in this game is kind of awesome. Lose 10 at a time, I could live with that. Uh, really? I gotta travel up. I don't like the fact there's an unseen time limit. That's kind of stupid. Ow! Oh, I actually gotta hit him in the cockpit. Okay, dude. I can't even get it. Kinda mess. Okay. Hmm. 
Eggman, like, really. Yeah, any other time I would just call him Robotnik, but I got so used to calling him Eggman at this point. Still the same person, don't care. I may call him, you know, by either name interchangeably, that's just me. Robotnik's Robotnik, Eggman's Eggman. Robotnik's Eggman, <laughs> Eggman's Robotnik. But I kind of love how um, Generations <laughs> explained the name change. That was funny. Because they were like, Dr. Robotnik! No, it's Eggman now. I legally... <laughs> he might as well say he legally changed it. But it was kind of awesome, though. Save states, but no. This is oh, this is annoying. I know I talked about the hit detection on um, the rings were kind of bad, but I didn't even touch upon the hit detection when it came to boss battles. They even worse. Uh, just regular enemies, you I could dismiss it like that is my fault. <laughs> I did not aim well. But something as big as the boss, now come on. You seriously see the fact that you aimed for him. But somehow it just says screw you. You did not hit him. And the hit does not register, which is complete utter crap. So I just gotta take it. Hit. I have left. Because this is not going well. I didn't realize that he jumped, you know, from one side to the other. Which, yeah, that's my error. But still. 
There gotta be a more less annoying way to actually to defeat them because it's like I got a big old hit box where he could just easily hit me. But when it comes to me, I had a very tiny window. I don't even think I'm exaggerating with that mess. So whoever did that, whoever programmed that boss battle was seriously tripping. Just saying. Come on. Thank you. Actually register the hits, please. I don't mean register the fat I got it. Oh my god. Like, really. Oh my them at the last possible second. That's so stupid. Thank you! I'm probably down to my last life or something. You know, I still got two lives left. I'm kind of shocked. Blue Marine Zone. You know what, this is a good place to stop, because I remember that's probably as far as I've gotten, was this place, and it's a water maze. But I'm going to try to attempt to beat it later. Until then, see you guys later, good night.